What's going on guys? So I'm coming back today with another video in my series where I'm trying out foreign uh, discs on different game consoles. And as you can see, I got an Xbox One today. So I got a, got a lot of different games to try, so let's go ahead and get started. So, first off, I'm going to start with an original Xbox game, Project Gotham Racing. Let's try this one out. Alright, so I'm hoping this, hoping I can get some kind of action from this. Okay, so it's open up a Blu-ray disc player. Alright, okay, I'm seeing something here. We're gonna get lucky today? I don't know, that sounds bad. And... Nope. Pretty sure I got that same same thing when I tried it on the PS2. Basically it just has a little splash screen that it that it shows whenever it's put into a DVD player or whatever it considers a DVD player. So so much for that one. So next I got an Xbox 360 game, Skate 3. Probably my favorite game from the 360. So I got a, I got a good feeling about this one. Hoping something good will happen to this. Alright, come on. Nice, let's go. Okay. So it wants me to install this update. Free update. Alright, so after I install this, I think it's going to let me play it. So that's, that's awesome. Alright, uh... Cool. I'm going to have to download that later and play some Skate 3. I have a bunch of other 360 games too, so I might have to check it out and see if any of my other 360 games will work on the Xbox One. See, that's that's what Sony needs to do. Sony needs to get some uh, backwards compatibility with the PS3. You know, you put the PS3 disc in the PS4, and then it just tells you to download an update, and you're good to go. You know, the Xbox got the right idea for Microsoft. So next, I got an Xbox One game for the Xbox One. I'm uh, hoping this is gonna work. Or else, yeah, it better work. So the Xbox sounds like it's working hard. Yep, no surprise. All right, so it says it's not ready yet because I haven't installed the whole game, but you get the idea. Xbox One game should work on the Xbox One. No surprise. All right, so next, I'm gonna move on to some uh, Sony games, PlayStation games. So let's, let's take a look at these. So first, I got a PS1 game, Gran Turismo 2. Don't have a case for this one, unfortunately. So let's try it out, see what happens. All right, so it just throws us an error right away. It's not gonna let us get away with that, unfortunately. All right, so next up, PlayStation 2 game, Need for Speed Underground 2. Let's go ahead and get this game out of here. Hopefully it doesn't throw the same thing at us this time. Let's see if it always tries. Nope. Same exact thing as the PS1 game gave us. That's okay, I guess. Didn't expect much more. Let's go ahead and put this away. Next, I got a PS3 game, MotorStorm. Now I'm, now I'm hoping the Xbox at least tries to recognize it or something, because it's a, on a Blu-ray disc, and you know, since uh, Xbox One can play Blu-ray discs, I'm kind of hoping it tries to do something. It took a lot, way too long to get that out of the case. It's kind of hard to get these games out of the case with one hand. Alright, so I was kind of expecting it to at least bring up the Blu-ray player, but it's just doing nothing. That's a disappointment. Almost have nothing to do with the PS3 game. I guess that's pretty smart. I probably designed it the same way if I was the Xbox One designer, whatever they call themselves. Alright, so PS4 game, Uncharted 4. 
you haven't played it yet, highly recommend it. Can't go wrong with the Uncharted games, but uh, Xbox want to be the ultimate machine if it could play Uncharted 4, but doesn't look like that's happening. It looks like the Xbox is a savage. Doesn't even want to try to play these games. Just tries to make you wait, sit there and wait for it to play, and it's never gonna happen. But all right, so I got a got a few more. So next, I got a PC game, Backyard Football. It says it's for kids, five to ten, but you know that's whatever. Let's try it out. This is one of my favorite games. Back when I was a kid, I'm sure some of you guys played a lot of these backyard games, but. You know, I'm I'm actually expecting expect something to happen here because you know the that plays on a Windows machine. This is a Windows machine or not? Same thing the PS1 and PS2 game gave us. Tells us to get it out. All right, so so much for that. So I got a Blu-ray disc next, Deadpool. Uh. I definitely expect this one to work because pretty sure the Xbox One games plays Blu-rays. But let's just go ahead and see. Yep, so it brings a Blu-ray disc and it's trying to load. I'm not gonna wait for it to load, but you get the idea. It's gonna play. Be disappointing if the Xbox One couldn't play Blu-ray discs at this period in time, but Pretty sure the Xbox One S can play 4K Blu-rays as well. PS4 Pro can't though, which is pretty weird, but whatever, their choice. All right, so next, I got a new game I'm gonna try. Sega Dreamcast, Hidden and Dangerous. All right, so I'm not sure what the Dreamcast game is gonna do. I'm not sure if Microsoft and Sega have any kind of beef from back in the day, but let's see. Warning. This disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that was, that was actually pretty neat. I wish all the games would do that. Tell me verbally that it's not going to work, so I won't have to read that error on the screen. I'm impressed, actually. That was pretty cool. It just basically plays an audio file. So next, as you can see, i got a GameCube game, Sonic Riders. I'm actually slightly worried about this disc, since, you know, it's a real, real small disc, and... I feel like when I'm gonna put it in this little disc slot, it's just gonna disappear, but why not? Let's try it out. Whoa. Made a weird noise. So nothing comes up. Let's just go ahead and take this out. Uh, well, okay then. I'm gonna take that out real quick for it. That sounded bad, so. That was weird. It kept sticking it or pushing it out, and then it immediately pulled back in. All right, so that's that's enough of that. Hopefully, my Xbox One still works after that. But all right, guys. So got a few interesting ones to try. So uh, first off, I'm gonna go with All Star Baseball '99 for the Nintendo 64. So first off, I'm not sure. This looks kind of dirty. I probably should blow it off. All right, so we should be good to go. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. So, no, it's not triggering the, triggering the gears yet. I guess it's not going in there. I don't see any kind of other slots. So I, I guess maybe they weren't thinking about the Nintendo 64 when they designed this. But I got one more to try. It's a Sega Genesis game. Barkley shut up and jam. So I should probably go ahead and blow this one off and make sure it'll work. <laughs> All right, so it should be ready to go now. Now let's let it. So maybe this one can. The gears will pull it in. Come on, man! How hard is it to make a console compatible with cartridges? I mean, this is just. It's just getting annoying now. Whatever, I, I give up. All right, so I got one more thing left. You know, uh, I've tried a twenty-dollar bill. I've tried a one-dollar bill. So why not try a five-dollar bill? Let's give it a go. It's kind of like a soda machine. You just kind of stick it in, and oh, it was taking it. I don't know that I want to do that. It was taking it. I, I guess I have it oriented the right way. 
I can get it back in there though. All right, do something. Or nah. Whatever, it's cool. PlayStation couldn't do it either, so I wouldn't expect you to do it either. It's cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And definitely let me know down in the comments what you thought would happen or what are the games you want me to try, what are the consoles I should try, some of the other weird things I should try. Just let me know, and thanks for watching.